What is up guys? I hope you are doing super duper well today. If you are new here, hello, my name is Alex and here we generally talk about philosophy. It's funny to say that because today we're going to be doing something a little differently in that I just kind of want to talk about spring cleaning and, and messes and cleaning. Who's got time for it? period. That's kind of like the whole video. But to start, it's that time of year again. It's spring, spring cleaning time. After doing quite a good deal of spring cleaning in my teeny tiny little apartment, I realized something huge. It's expensive. It's not cheap to spring clean. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy things like what the home edit tells you to do. Buy little compartments for every single thing you own. I can't lie, it does make life amazing but it isn't necessary. But at the same time, you need time to clean and who has the time to spare to clean when you're on that super grind hustle machine. We know it's true because it rhymes. <laughs> Anyways, I have, you know, a tendency or a slight compulsion to want things to be clean. And in all actuality, I have a very hard time doing art when things are dirty. I feel like I have other priorities I have to get to and I have to clean before I can do the fun thing, right? Fun thing. But when art or making videos or whatever it is is like your grind, it's not the fun thing. It's it's the business thing that's also fun. And so you you can't have cleaning as your priority and you have to accept that life is just dirty. And so even if you might be able to afford the the niceties of making your house clean, who says you even have the time to do it? And that's why we have shows like The Home Edit. You hire other people to come in and organize and clean your whole place. Do the spring clean for you. Truth be told, I have been attempting to spring clean this apartment like since the first spring I moved in here. I moved here uh, October five years ago. Pretty much everything has been exactly where it has been since then. That doesn't mean to say that I haven't rearranged the place because I definitely have. Those of you who have followed the channel know that I have moved my desk around like three or four times just to attempt to get a good feng shui, a good cleanability, good actual light coming in. This apartment actually only has three windows and so spring cleaning is very important because I have no air th air flow and the reason why we're supposed to spring clean is because all throughout winter we close our windows and get all of this dust and trapped in everything inside that we got to get out. Spring comes after winter, we got to get our winter goo and dust out. It's disgusting. But not everyone can do this. And not everything, not everybody has the time. I don't have the time for this. So this is what I realized. Not only is spring cleaning expensive and somewhat necessary to life and a hygienic environment, but it's also partially just a huge classist fad that was probably created just like, you know, Coca-Cola created Christmas or the chocolate companies created Valentine's Day. Like, the cleaning companies created spring cleaning. All in all, because I have to realize I don't have the time to clean. My partner does not always have the time to clean. Year round, we have a fairly you know, moderately messy apartment. And I I have learned to live with this. And honestly, it it inspired a design. I created a sticker. So if if you'll allow me. So this all sparked a beautiful idea of art is messy. It just is messy. Sometimes we need to calm down realize we can't get everything clean and just create
create and that's all we need to do and other times we can have our 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 days where we do the dishes and get the laundry done and other days where we don't and that's okay that is a beautiful balanced world where not everything needs to look like we just walked into a catalog or your bedroom or kitchen doesn't need 100% always to be Instagram postable ready. Living in an environment like that is just stressful and not fun because you know why? Because art is messy. It, it just is. It is period. Like, I don't even know how many more words to add to this. I wish I had like some beautiful quotes, like some beautiful Van Gogh quotes, but I don't. At the same time, if we'd have walked into his house, it was probably a huge mess because you know what? He was not worried about the mess in the, in the kitchen or the mess in the wherever. He was worried about drawing the flowers and getting it on the canvases and probably a lot of other things. But just imagine any other artist. So many artists are just messy. And so the creative process is messy. And every time we are seeing an artist on television of some rendition of a studio, it is not clean. It is, guess I, say it with me messy yes thank you and so is this all just an advertisement for this sticker design that i made no not really maybe but truly i have just been somewhat overwhelmed with the fact that i want to clean and make my house so beautiful and it is not cheap i organized my craft closet for the first time in five years honestly for the first time ever. I've never had a craft, craft, craft class before. And it was not cheap. It was not, not cheap. And it took probably an entire day, an entire day that I had to devote to doing one single thing. And so if you are feeling overwhelmed by everything you want to do all the time and all the things you are supposed to do, all the time. Just know that you are not alone at all and probably 100% of every person lives with this feeling. And it's because life is just messy. Period. Point blank. Moral of the story here again, if your house is messy and you feel super bad about it, don't. Don't. Life is messy. Everyone in the world has a messy house and they're just hiding it. They're hiding it. Everyone hides their messes and we just gotta embrace it. We just have to embrace the mess so we don't feel terrible about ourselves, okay? That's, that's the simple philosophy that I wanted to share with you guys today. A very, very short and quick video, but that is also for a hopefully very good reason. Moving on to a little, like, channel update here. I threw out the idea on my community tab, like, what if I created a documentary on the philosophies within the show Red Dwarf? And half of the people were super for it, and half of the people were like, I have no idea what is Red Dwarf even? So I'm gonna do it. I'm super excited about it. My script is already pages long. I do think I can't just stop uploading videos partially because I think I would go mad working on one project so hard um, to get it out as fast as I possibly can. If I were to feel more like taking as long as I possibly want to, hopefully I'm just shooting for like October here, but more of a laxed amount of time. And then just also to post more laxed videos in the meantime. You know, like not super duper researched or not super crazy edited or something. Just like more more easy lax videos while I work on a pretty insane and and heavily edited and researched 
documentary. So if you are into that idea, I would be super duper down uh, for you to comment your thoughts. Someone in the community tab suggested an episode that I was like, yes, we might just have to cover that. And so if you have any Red Dwarf episodes or parts in the books that you have in mind that you would want to explore or you would want me to explore in the documentary, please let me know. Otherwise, I am just, I'm just super duper excited. It's gonna take a, a while. It's gonna uh, take a minute. I'm a one-man show here who also has a full-time job. So again, really hoping to shoot for October. Once I finish the script, I will have much more of a better idea. If you would like to support this project in any manner, please, there are many ways you could keep watching the videos, share the videos. You can pick up one of my stickers at my Etsy shop. It comes in three different sizes, humongous, medium, and teensy weensy. Otherwise, I do also have a Patreon. For my Patreons or patrons who are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for your support. And for those of you who have subscribed here and watch, thank you for your support. I can't can't thank you enough. I got so many votes on the Red Dwarf community tab voting thing. Starting to blab on here. Um, once again, embrace the messes in life, please. It's beautiful. We don't need to hide them. It isn't necessary. It just makes everyone feel bad and stress and be anxious about having to do what you're supposed to do, you know? Why are we supposed to do it? If you are all the way here to the end, I super duper appreciate all of your support. I would love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Um, but otherwise, thank you for sticking around. All right, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye, I love you, bye. One of these days.